All right, once again, hello folks. Welcome to another video, our second video. Previous video was our first look at Flipboard for Android. And now today's second video, we'll be taking our first look at FX File Explorer for Android. So that is what we'll be doing in this second video. Okay, now, as you can see that we're on the overview page. And when we go to install the app, application window. <laughs> we are returned right back to the overview page, which therefore means that we don't have a permission this prior to installation, which means that we would either have to endure those permission requests, which come in the form of pop ups while we're using the app, or what we normally do now is we go into the permission list and allow the permissions prior to our first launch. But again, the fact that we either have to go through one of those processes is a disadvantage there because I'd rather be using the app to my heart's content. However, one advantage of running Android apps on the Chromebook is that keyboards are much more accessible than touch screens. And that is because the Google TalkBack, which is used on phones and tablets, often incorporates gestures, which can be quite complex and quite similar as well, because if you are completing the wrong actions inadvertently, then you're going to have to retrace your steps. And again, that can be very annoying. So the fact that the people can use a keyboard is much more accessible. Now, before I have a look at the file explorer, it's important to know that if your Chromebook runs Android, it is actually a good idea to run an additional file app, file explorer app. And then it's because the default files app that comes with your Chromebook can't access the Android directories if you run Android on your Chromebook. The Android likes to create hidden directories of its own and the files app can't support that. Now there is rumors of the files app is going to support Android storage in the next update. Unfortunately, that update hasn't come yet. So unfortunately, you're going to have to install an additional file explorer. However, there is a way of deleting your Android directories without going through the, going through all the faff of installing an additional file explorer. However, that other method can be inaccessible. Uh, so it's probably more easy to install a file explorer for screen reader users. It's called FX Text Edit. After installation. And I have not seen that before. Now one minute on the Play Store it's telling you that it's an FX File Explorer. And now once you've installed the app, it's called FX Text Edit. And again, if it's a file explorer, it should remain a file explorer. If it's not, then why is it labeled a file explorer? So I'm actually quite confused on what this app is about. But again, the fact that the names differ prior and after installation and the fact that these names give you two totally different impressions is a major disadvantage because people are going to wonder what they are installing however it only has the storage permission so it's not going to push the boundaries on what it can access on your device but let's open this app and see what we get. Minimize editing edit box. Editing. Well, it does actually look like a text editor. <laughs> so unfortunately, this is FX file text editor rather than FX file explorer rather than conclude the video and have a look at another file explorer 
let's just have a look at the app in general. So I don't want to disappoint you all. Editing. Okay, now on to text editors now. Some text editors for screen reader users can be inaccessible. And that is when it comes to the editing factor and some editing sections or some editing features they don't the talk the google talkback doesn't keep up in real time with the screen reader and i have seen screen readers that when they're typing and the screen reader goes into stealth mode or it suddenly goes off they depend on the screen reader so much that they're unable to main they are not able to maintain that sense of awareness on where they are and what they're typing now fortunately I'm not one of those screen reader users, but if you are, then having naps with poor editing features, you know, that can really disorientate you. So let's say, let's just see what this notepad is like. As you can probably hear, Six and space, 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 and editing. But it keeps up with you quite well. The only thing is, however, is the Google Talkback speaks to characters as you type and the words as you type afterwards. So if I demonstrate that to you. So, as you probably heard, I was typing uh, the word this and it said both characters and words. And again, that's probably a Google Talkback problem and not with the app, but it's something to be aware of. Select space, 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 and space, space, T, F. E deleted. It is easy to correct mistakes within a word. And the reason why I say that is if you use Google Docs, you're probably custom noticing that when you use the white arrow to navigate to a letter and press the backspace, you actually delete the letter that the white arrow is focusing on. And although that may seem silly, screen reader users are often custom knowing that if you focus your white arrow and press the backspace key, you delete the character before um, before the letter, if that makes sense. But again, the fact that this is old school, let's say, is a is a very good advantage there. Another function that we look for in text editors is the save command, which is Control S. And as you can see, that when I press the Control S, I'm presented with this screen, which is the save as dialog box. And I also get an alert that the box has appeared. And again, when I tested out, I think it was Android Open Office or Office Suite or one of the Office apps, the save as command did work, but I didn't get such an alert that the save as dialog box was up, causing me to think initially that the command didn't work when actually the box was already there. So the fact that the command works and you get such an alert on this app is a very good Home. advantage there. Document, download, main, cancel, okay, cancel. Main storage 10.3 gigabytes, 8.4 gigabytes free. It actually says 10.4 gig gigabytes rather than gigabytes. Main storage 10.3 gigabytes. Eight. However, I'm not too sure whether that's a Google Talkback problem. Download main storage do documents. Main storage doc download editing. But there's something to be aware of. Now it looks as though that you choose your storage first. Deleted. And then name the file after. So I'm gonna type it. I'm gonna name it test. T -E -F -T. Full stop. Eight -L. And the great thing about some text editors with save as dialog boxes is you can specify the file format. So I've saved this file in a HTML format. And the reason why it is a very good advantage to specify the format is if you use text editors for coding then you would need to specify the 
correct file for the correct program lang language that you're coding for. So if I'm a web developer and I choose to code, I'd often say files in HTML format because browsers open HTML web pages. If I'm coding for Python, then I'd save it in a PY format because that's what Python opens. But again, that is a very good that is a very good advantage to text editors. Download Blue Mac, Facebook clipboard screen cancel. Okay. Press search plus space to activate. Saving application window. FX. There are a few. Oh, sorry, that's both boxes there. As I was saying, there are a few images there, image icons, and they can be a disadvantage there. However, I think your main section, such as the editing section, that is well labeled. And if the save as button isn't labeled, then at least you have the control S at your command. So that is going to be. Um, well, some of a disadvantage there, but oh, well. okay. Well, in conclusion, I am a bit taken aback because I was actually fooled about. Well, I actually thought initially that this was a file explorer when actually this is a text editor. So I've got to warn you about that. So if you see FX File Explorer, it is actually a text editor. So that is going to be a major disadvantage because if people expect to file explorer you know if they see an fx text editor they're going to wonder if they have installed the wrong app so that is going to be a major disadvantage there however the text editor is fairly easy to use the editing feature works very well with screen reader users and the control s commands work so those are very good advantages and that's what you want to see in a text editor however not all of the icons are readable by google talkback but again the fact that all your important sections are easy to access or all your important features are easy to access is a very good advantage there so i would actually recommend this app so anyway thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more videos to come and I shall see you soon.